Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our story today, Pig the Grub. Now, this is going to be an exciting one because I've never read this one before. Let's have a look at it, shall we? Oh, already. It's very messy. Pig the Grub. Pig was a pug. And I'm sorry to say, his personal hygiene was far from okay. Oh, look, here he is over here. Is he dragging his bottom on the ground? Oh, dear. Pig the pug. Pig liked to get dirty. He frankly was rank. His paws could be frightful and his fur often stank. Ooh, doesn't sound like a puppy I'd like to have in my house, does it? He, was, he wasn't offended by bad odour, so he didn't care if he smelled. Oh dear. And if you weren't careful, he'd smell you as well. Oh, I don't want to smell him. He'd play with all kinds of unspeakable muck. Oh my goodness, what is this he is playing with? I don't play with poo, do you? Ooh. And do things to make you scream. Don't do that, yuck. Oh my gosh, what is he drinking out of? It's the toilet, isn't it? Pig the pug, yuck. He leaked out a stench that could not be forgotten. He reeked, he was rancid. In short, he was rotten. Mm. Yeah, look, oh goodness me, he's got green stuff all over him. Look at his friends, his eyeballs are going, oh, you stink, peg the pub. So bath time was called. You stinky old mutt, you need a good clean from your ears to your butt. But he turned his tail and before you could grab it, he was off out that room like a foul little rabbit. <gasps> I think he's running away because he doesn't want to bath, does he? They chased him. The pig had a devious knack for ducking and weaving and doubling back. He's really, he's going all through the house, isn't he? My goodness. And once he had lost them and used a small toy to block up the pipes, then he hooted with joy. Woohoo! For Pig the Pug. By the time they had found him, he boogied with glee. You won't get your soapy old water on me. He's very happy down here, isn't he? He's celebrating. They watched as Pig gloated. They watched as Pig crowded. Yeah, he's in there dancing away. They watched as Pig's plan made the bathroom. Explode! Bang! Oh, something hit him on the head, didn't it? Look at his eyes. Oh, dear. Oh. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. If you tell Pig it's bathtub, he won't disobey. But although you can wash him with soap, cloth, and a towel, there's no getting round it. Is just foul. Oh no, have a close look. What has he done in the water? Mm, I think he might have done a fluff. Mm. So Pig in this book is really a grub, isn't he? We don't want to be like that. We need to keep ourselves nice and clean so that we don't smell and get sick. Hey? It's very lucky. All right, well, we'll see you later for another story. Bye from Miss Cassandra.